France 24's Shirley Sitbon is here. Shirley, French wine exports are breaking records, but here at home, consumers are shunning uh, the red stuff. Could it be because of those those ads we've been seeing when you go to watch a movie in the cinema where you have health authorities telling you to consume less alcohol? Not only in the cinemas, but also on television, uh, whenever you put on YouTube or whatever, you have TV, that, <laughs> you, you have those messages coming up, popping up. We can see one of them. They've been playing and you can pretty easily, they put it all out there. You, if you drink too much wine, they say more than two glasses of wine, you can get heart disease, liver disease, you can get uh, your uh, immune system will be weakened, you can get cancer and strokes. Uh, that's the message. And we can say that it's probably the opposite, the exact opposite of what we've been hearing decades earlier, when drinking wine was almost patriotic, when it was... Uh, Good for said, your heart, right? <laughs> it is. But at the time, you know, remember, there was the French paradox. <clears throat> we said that drinking wine is actually good for you. It even out uh, your uh, your diet if you do, eat too much uh, cheese and uh, you know rich uh, food. Well, this uh, drinking wine will make you feel better. This was based on some kind of statistic, but. Mm. Scientists today say that you really have to watch out, uh, and some of them even have been saying that you can even not drink wine at all. But, but of course, they don't all agree. You can drink some wine, but not too much. And actually, French consumers uh, have been drinking less than at the time uh, in uh, the 1960s. Since then, well, consumption has dropped by 60%. But you have to say that at the time, it was very high, 100 liters per uh, resident in France per year, which was a lot. Today, it's 40 liters, which is more reasonable. And some winemakers have asked authorities to tear out parts of their vineyards. Why is that crucial when sales are down? Well, it's crucial because they don't want prices to plummet. You've said it. You shouldn't go too far down. I don't feel it's gone down, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. I'm still buying, but... But uh, I guess it depends on the quality of the wine. Yeah. But uh, it's important, especially because if they don't use that part of their vineyard, they don't attend to it, then some diseases can mm. spread. And they can spread to other parts of the land and to other vineyards. And that would be uh, a major problem. That's why the European Union and France have been investing... Uh, to uh, pull out and destroy parts of uh, France's vineyards because they believe that the French consumers will continue to drink less and less. Now, winemakers who are left with large quantities of unsold wine have, have decisions to make. Bordeaux can be used to make, for example, perfume or uh, disinfectant gel. Yes. But I, COVID's finished, so you don't need to set back in jails, do we? We do, because Still do. Some, some, so many uh, producers have such large quantities of wine, they don't know what to do with it. So they've been asking authorities, can we turn it into something so we don't have it in our hands anymore? So the, the French will turn 2.5 million hectoliters of Bordeaux and other red uh, wines uh, into sanitizers, into perfume, uh, you know. So that's what they're doing today. And apparently this is a trend. Also, we have to say that global uh, warming makes red wine less popular because it's too hot. And so people turn to these uh, cool white wine and uh, rosé. Orange more, wines I've seen as well. <laughs> orange wines. And some, uh, cons uh, some producers, we can see uh, on these images, they've, you know, they've decided to diversify uh, their land. And while they pull out some of uh, their vine plants, well, they've planted olive trees. And they also grow, you know, they, they grow nuts and they produce lots of things. Actually, it could make the wine even taste better with all these varieties. But because we consume a lot of uh, oil, um, olive, olive oil, oil in France, and we only produce 4% of that. So it's a, you know, it's a market that's ready Fantastic. to be taken. Thank you very much for that, Shirley. Shirley Sitborn.